Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our React.js tutorial. So part of this video, I am going to explain event handling. So we can go to see the topics like how to dynamically bind any of the events and also how to pass the parameters and finally how to pass the event parameters. So let me go to the application. We can do one by one. Here I am going to create one button first. And also I'm going to define one function so constant and my function name is handle click so for the testing purpose I'm going to add some values in the console Okay, this is fine. Now I am going to bind this function in our on click event. So let me add here. So defaultly it will show the suggestion. So let me select this on click. So see the event binding syntax, the single curly braces. Here I need to provide the function name. Okay, we have done before going to the testing I want to convey one information for any even handling basically we will use this parenthesis also but in the react application if you use like this while binding this event to the particular HTML element so it will trigger automatically so instead of that we have to give just function name that's it so let me go to the application and I'm going to the console side so initially we don't have any values so if I am clicking this one so I am getting the values welcome to react okay so as I mentioned if I am providing parent this this will fire automatically that also we can check first let me clear the console now I am trying to refresh the screen see now it's two times it's coming not even I am clicked okay so that's what we have to bind like this in the react application now our biggest question is how to pass the parameters if you are using this parenthesis it's very easy to pass but currently we don't have any parenthesis then how to pass the parameters so let me explain this one also here i am provided one parameters called name so welcome so after that whatever parameter value i am passing we have to bind here So in the on click event, we have to use the anonymous function type. So inside the anonymous function, we can call the method. So now we can use the parenthesis. Whatever value I am trying to pass, we can pass it. Debbie. Again, I am clear the console. Now I am clicking this button. See now. So welcome to is coming. So here the concept is when I am clicking this button, so it automatically triggering this anonymous function. So after that only, it's just triggering our handle click. So that's all about the concept. Even in case if I am not providing this function, so instead of that, if I am giving some console value, so that also will fire. Okay, it's just a warning only. It's... Okay, see now the test is coming. So it's coming based on the anonymous functions. So anyway, I'm going to use. And one more thing, uh, here also the inside, this single curly brace is not required. Let me verify one second. So, you know the welcome to it will work fine okay now we have passed one parameter the similar way we can pass the multiple parameters also 
So now I am going to explain how to pass the even parameters. So for this one, uh, in the name, I am going to use one more parameter called event. So let me add that also in the console. Okay, in the even binding side, as of now, I am just to pass to one parameter. So whenever I am clicking, so it will automatically triggering this anomalous function only. So here only basically I will get the event value. So once I got the value, I can pass the same value in the number handle click also. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now we can verify first time clearing this console. Now I'm trying to click this one. See now actually we are getting two values. One is welcome Ravi and another one is our event value. So it contains all the information. Let me expand and show you. See now our react even name is on click and also the target target is nothing but uh, what is the control. So our control is button. So we are getting this information for getting the more information uh, we can give like e, e dot target okay again i'm just clearing this one now i'm clicking so see now so exactly we are getting the button value so now we have implemented this even handling for one of the button controllers the similar way uh, we can use for any html controls so not only for the on click uh, we can use this on change on blur so everything we can use for explaining this concept, I am going to use one input control also. So in the input, I am going to use uh, what is called the on change event. And I have to create one more function also. I am having only one parameters the event parameter only now let me remove this one handle change okay the procedure is same first we have to call the anonymous function so inside that we have to call our handle change and we need to pass the event also okay i think we are good so let me verify so if i am trying to enter any value see now so our control name is input so that's what it's coming like this so here i am going to do some changes so actually i need the value also so whatever value i am typing i supposed to get testing see so now so initially i had the values test after that i have included i n g so all are coming and similar way i'm going to add react js so see all the values are gets included here okay great the values are coming so now we have completed our even binding in the input controller the similar way we can use any of the html controls and also we can use the a number of uh, events like instead of this on change we can use this on blur the procedure is same we have to use the same syntax something like that only so i hope you got some better idea about this uh, even handling including this even binding and passing the parameters and how to get the values from the input and still if you have any doubts or clarifications please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching